What's up? I'm Richie Velasquez, aka Del Adesso, and I, I, I do grime art. Ah, don't get butt hurt, because a lot of people promise you things and don't put too many expectations on anything because you never know what it's going to be and stuff changes, so it's like don't put any expectations, never get butt hurt and just keep going. Um, maybe to like, um, stay motivated maybe. It's either my dog, Rocket, or Paint. Honestly, just the youth, you know, like just kind of like where kids' mentals are at, and like they're like always the best judgment because they're like the true future. Like they're like because it's always going to be kids, and we grow up and kind of change. And like the ones that don't change are the ones that is, escape adult adulting, kind of, you know. And it's kind of like always oh, because like getting older, realizing we just turn into taller children. That's why this collaboration with Brooklyn was super just genuine and fun because it was just like I kind of know where her mind's at kind of with like just doing stuff and without really thinking and just kind of like with feelings. I always tell people I'm like just stay baby because it's like I, I just don't don't kill your inner inner child and it's just like that's where I'm at right now. Um maybe so if something looks ugly, you can still fix it. Because in the past, um, I did a painting and then Sunny came with a pink and started burning. Yeah, and then I immediately got up and I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, just keep pushing, just keep going for no reason. When people tell you to stop, just keep going. Listen to yourself. Oh, dude, I think like Bart, right? Bart Simpson. Like, I think we all grew up with Bart, and it'd be interesting to see what kind of person he would be. Um, I don't know. I don't really watch this person that that much. Drip art. Uh, drip is a style where Brooklyn calls her stuff drip, I call my stuff grime, and where other people are gonna call it sunshine, and other people are gonna call it that. So it's a genre, it's a, it's a subgenre that categorizes where my stuff is at, and I'm just adding to the drip culture. Like I'm just another drip in that whole wide drip galaxy that, 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 that exists, you know? I like the way how it like drips, it could drip like long, it could drip short. Is that some kind of phase, you know, some kind of call on the ground? Yeah, you never know what's gonna happen. Well, when I pick the colors, I normally go for my favorite colors, which is, I don't really have any favorite colors, so basically the rainbow. And sometimes I, like, look at the paints and I, like, see which ones will, like, match. Any other hidden talents? I can play video games. I'm honestly really competitive. Possibly many, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I'm constantly learning stuff and you'd be surprised on what things kind of cocoon every day. Every, every day is kind of like a new version of yourself. You know, you're not the same person you were yesterday. And it's like every day is just like a new version of yourself. So it's like, let's see what we're gonna learn today. Maybe I'm gonna make music or maybe I'm gonna do something else, cook. So far, it's either jumping off a diving board or doing this, yeah. or public speaking. I don't public speak so well in the future, but I'll be speaking. Speaking, being, doing this kind of stuff, like talking to other people in a, in a different world, it's kind of scary. Um, Willis from Artlands had messaged me to do this collaboration and immediately I'm a, I'm a super fan of Brooklyn's work and her just her vibe and style and I'm like dude this is it'd be the funnest thing to just do something with her and like create skits we created skits together and like all these fun little things and I, I knew it was going to be that thing that I, I had total control of like we can do whatever we want you know and 
that's what it's been. I went to one of her art shows in San Bernardino at the Creative Grounds. I needed to go to that. Like I was like, if anything, I have to go see Brooklyn in person and just to kind of like hype them up, you know? I think when you have a young artist, you want to keep them motivated to like keep creating, you know? Because I think kids get bored, but it's like, if we can keep these kind of things going and like show them like, hey, like this is like things that happen when you, you, you're learning art. I think she'll respect the fundamentals and everything, the journey a little bit more, you know? It'll feel more real for her. She needs to believe it and I like, I never stopped pretending, you know? I, I didn't get here without pretending my whole life and I think even if she starts pretending now and like creating her her path, you know? She can kind of mold it to whatever she wants. She's, she's just, she's dripping her own life right now, you know? She's creating her own drip. She literally controls where she wants the drips to do. That's what I respect about her art. Cause it's like, you, it's not just dripping. She kind of knows exactly how much, how far she wants the drips to go. So it's very interesting to see how she does her work. I don't know, uh, life? <laughs> there's so many gifts. I think everything is, there's too many. It was a quite long time ago, um, and my mom had like some friends over, but like to do like a um, like worship thing in my backyard. And then one of my mom's friends said, "Do you want to let Brooklyn paint?" My first thing, my first, it was like it was like kind of like an ombre. It was like like for example, I don't think it was this color, but purple, like light purple. Yeah, and then I tested out dripping and I found it. Right now I'm venturing off and uh, I, I kind of, my art is kind of like a style that I, I'm creating that I'm kind of acknowledging as we're all kind of TV channels and we're all different networks and stuff. So I'm kind of developing my own network right now called Moss Fun TV and I'm like, using my art to kind of guide what the vibes and the, and the show is supposed to feel like and inviting people like Brooklyn and other people that are in the similar struggle and journey to share their stories that it's just it doesn't come with hard work without without hard work you know so it's just like yeah like this is like a hub that I'm creating to do that kind of stuff with people like Brooklyn. <laughs>